As I understand it, you have some concerns about something related to the VA and their budget slash funding. And that has to do with some remarks made by the president where he says every cabinet member is going to have to cut their budget by 5%. That cabinet includes Secretary of the VA, Robert Wilkie. So what did you think when you heard that? Obviously very concerning. So I had a a meeting yesterday with some of the senior leadership over at VA to ask about that. They have received no details from this uh, yet. Uh, They're very concerned about it as well. Of course, they want to – if they're appointed by the president, they they want to – their job is to do what the president wants them to do. But they're very concerned that 5 percent uh, cut the budget, really any percentage of a cut right now in the VA budget with all that's happening, especially with the Mission Act and the expansion of community care, would, would be devastating to veterans. We would ha- – I'm not exaggerating here. We would have veterans dying uh, because of lack of health care if there had to be a cut. Uh, the president's been on the campaign trail. Now uh, he's doing different big rallies in cities all over the country every night again. So he has said a, a few different things, and this this was something he has said a few times now uh, to address the growing spending and the deficit that he has ordered, as you said, everyone in his cabinet. So every agency within the federal government that, that's run by the administration has to cut by 5%. In the past, this has happened uh, under President Obama. Uh, he made a very similar announcement twice, but both times he left the VA off that list. He let, made them exempt. Uh, we're calling on the president to do the same for the VA. We, we think it's the, not only the only right thing to do here, we think it's really the only option right now. And the president talks a lot about his support for veterans. We take him at face value on that. We have uh, throughout his his time in office and as a candidate. Um, and so we, we really need the president to make it clear so veterans don't have to worry about this, that veterans will be exempt from this cut. 